Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another week of decorating. In today's video, we're going to be refreshing my husband's bathroom. I really want to make it feel a little bit more modern and more his style. So we did go out shopping and picked up a few new pieces that I'm going to share with you all. I did find this toilet paper holder. We went to Winners and Marshalls and HomeSense and they had such a huge selection of bathroom products. I was so shocked actually how much they had in different colors and they had wood tones. Um, I just thought they were all so pretty, but we did decide to go with the black one and I believe it was $14.99. This matte black trash can was so pretty. It was $19.99. I love that it has a slow close and I just think it's so perfect. Again, they had such a huge selection. I was debating getting gray. We've had stainless steel before, but I just don't love the look. I feel like it shows everything. So I think the black is probably the best option. And then we also decided to look at some little holders for the bathroom. I thought I could put some Q-tips or soaps in these and these ones were so pretty. I love the etching on the glass and just the simplicity of them. I think they'll look really pretty just on the counter and I love the little tray that it comes with also. A lot of these bathroom holders were really affordable. They were ranging between $9.99 and $12.99. I love those amber ones with the gold tops, but my husband doesn't love gold and I really wanted to put pieces in his bathroom that he really liked since he doesn't comment on any of the decor I choose in the rest of the house. So I love the ones that we did end up picking. And then I found this really cute clock. It was $12.99. I thought I could put it in the bathroom, but it's also a piece I could move throughout the house. This next little piece is this stool. I actually bought this a couple months ago and it was reduced from $49.99 to $19.99. And I thought this would be really cute to add towels onto. And speaking of towels, I got these really cute hand towels just in this muted gray and white pattern. I always love to add scented products in my bathroom. I found this reed diffuser, leather, and oak moss. It was $9.99, and I thought that scent would be perfect for a man's bathroom. This soap container was $9.99, and I just like the simplicity of it. I can just change the soap seasonally, and I did get some bar soap too. It was two bars for $7.99, which was a great price. I love the packaging, and I thought I could even put it in this little container just for some extra soaps in the bathroom. And then I did find this brush. I feel like it gives a very spa-like feel. It was $5 on clearance, so I did pick that up. And then the last little piece was this sponge. I love it. To me, it's very spa-like also. It comes with a little hanger um, and you can suction this in your shower, but I thought it was so cute. So this is the bathroom we'll be decorating. It's very simple now. I did remove any decor that I had, which wasn't much actually. We do have a master ensuite with a double sink, but I kind of took that over. So he just goes in here usually and it works well for us. Um, but I do really want to make this feel a little bit more cozy and welcoming. So I'm going to start off with this sign. It just says the bath. I've had this for a few years and I'm just going to add this to the wall. Just sticking with that really masculine theme, I have this really gorgeous vase. This was from Walmart. And then I'm going to add these eucalyptus stems. These were from Michael's. I think it was $19.99 for all these and it was 50% off. But I just love the spa-like feel that it gives. And I just kind of wanted to hide the outlets in that corner so it does a good job of that. I didn't want to add too much decor to the sink area just so he had enough space in the morning to shave, brush his teeth, things like that. But I did want to add this little pedestal and this really pretty vase I got from Michaels. I love it. And then I had to add a candle. I just think candles are so pretty in the bathroom and I love the simplicity of this white one. This little hand towel is so cute. I either place my um, towels kind of draping over the sink or I just place them horizontally. I thought it looked better just kind of draped over the sink, so that's what I went with. And then I'm gonna go in with these little containers and just kind of fill in some space on this side of the sink. 
I did decide to add some q-tips I had these ones in our other bathroom so I thought I would just transfer them to this container and we do use q-tips I know this is controversial I actually never knew this until I was older that some people don't use q-tips because um, I think they can rupture your ear if you don't use them the right way but we always grew up using them so I feel almost like I'm not clean if I come out of the shower and don't use q-tips so let me know what you guys think and then I'm gonna put these little um, sponges in here I have all of Holstein's ear treatments in the bathroom closet in here so I just thought it would be handy to have it here when I do clean out his ears I did want to break up the black in those containers so I used this greenery piece I had. It's a little bit too large. I didn't have anything else on hand so the next time I'm out shopping I'll look for something a bit smaller but I love how the sink area turned out. It's very calming and neutral and now that I've decorated this space I kind of want to take over this bathroom but I won't. I have this really pretty dough bowl. I got this at Michael's. I think it was $39.99 but I would have gotten it for 50% off and I'm gonna add this to this really cute shelf I have against the wall and then just to bring a little bit of that greenery over here I'm gonna add another one and then I'm gonna go in with my little clock Let me know in the comments what your color scheme is for your bathroom and if you love to decorate it very relaxing or neutral. I love going with neutral decor um, because then seasonally I can add, you know, just a few little pumpkins or at Christmas a little tree or some red bows. I don't know. I just think it's a lot easier when you have really neutral decor just to add a few seasonal touches and not have to redo the whole space. I'm so glad I decided to pick up this reed diffuser. I had it out for about 10 minutes and even after that short amount of time I could really smell it in the bathroom and I just think it looks so pretty and it really does remind me of a spa so I definitely need to pick up one of these for my bathroom. I did like the packaging on the soap but as soon as I wanted to take a sticker off it ripped it and then I was so happy that the soap was brown inside. I think it's so pretty. It adds a nice little masculine touch so I just placed that on the shelf. I wanted to keep them quite simple. I'm going to add a little towel and I do want to look for some white towels. I just think they look so gorgeous and add that spa feel to the bathroom. I just um, couldn't find any believe it or not in my own home. I kind of get rid of them after a while they start to look grungy so I definitely need to refresh my white towels and I like to bleach them and keep them really clean and then once they've kind of ran their course I'll just um, get rid of them and start fresh again so I'm gonna definitely get some more white towels I did have this little magazine stand in the bathroom before and sometimes I'll just put books in it or magazines just for reading material um, but I just think that's super cute and then I'm gonna go in with this rug I love the design of it just with the whites and the blacks it ties in the rest of the room and there's Holstein I've had a lot of you were wondering if he was gonna make his debut and of course he had to he loves toilet paper I don't think I've ever shared this about Holstein but that is one thing that he always gets into I have to have lids on all my garbages because he will go in and take toilet paper and rip it up all over the house so he's a really good boy but ever since he's a puppy he's had this thing for toilet paper So I'm going to add this little stool right beside the bathtub and that way if he does shower in here um, or if I take a bath ever I just have some really pretty towels here in a gray color. I have the matching hand towel. Um, it came in a set of two so I added the other one here as well as a little washcloth and I just think it looks so cute. I was so happy I found this stool for $19.99. I never would have paid $49.99 but I just think it looks so cute and then I'm just going to add this little waste basket here. Again, I love just the black colors. I feel like everything looks so pretty. And Holstein brought his little treat in here. He just loves to be where I am. I just think he's so adorable. And I just know he brings a lot of joy to each and every one of you. 
So I'll just give a little overview of the bathroom now. I think it turned out really nice. My husband did really like it also, which is the main thing. And I just think it'll be perfect. I don't really have to change things out. And if I do, like I said, want to add anything seasonally, that'll be really easy to do. Um, and I did have a gift card, so I really didn't spend any money on any of these items, which was so nice. And I just feel like this is something that I can keep like this for a long time. So I'm really happy with with it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I just so look forward to chatting with you guys every week and just know that your support means the world. And I love just seeing familiar names and faces pop up and it just means so much to me. I love you all so much and I'm just so, so grateful for all of your support. So leave me a comment and then until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.